Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Gulecha and I welcome you. In this video, I am going to talk about uh, two discourses, uh, number discourses 8.26 and the uh, number discourses 4.99. Uh, the links to the discourses are given in the description. Uh, which talk about the meaning of a lay follower. Who is a lay follower of in Buddhism and, uh, and, and what are the type of lay followers? Right? So just to understand before, see there are two uh, set of people who, who follow the Buddha's teachings. One is the monks and nuns who, who basically are part of the monastic order and they are governed by the code of monastic discipline which is Vin Vinaya Pit Pitika. Right? So there are three baskets of discourses. Second basket is Vinaya Pitika which is the code of the monastic discipline. Right? So they follow that. They have to like it's a rigorous code of what do's and don'ts. Right? So they, they take that path and which is a rigorous path and uh, both ways it's there. A lot of rules and regulations and precepts that they have to follow and at the same time they are devoting themselves fully on the path. And the second category of the people are like lay people like you and me. Unless you are, uh, you, if, unless you are a monk. Unless you are a monk. Right? So people like you and me who are in the family life, they can also follow the Buddha's teachings. So it's not necessary that you have to leave everything and go to a forest and become a monk. No, it's not like that. Buddha gave the teaching to everyone. The Only the rules are different. They have much, the monks and nuns, they have much more stranger rules. And we as lay people, because we are in the family life, we have a kind of a, a bit relaxed rules. So in this discourse uh, with Jivika, uh, uh, the Jivika asked Buddha, Sir, how is a lay follower defined? So Buddha said, Jivika, when you have gone for refuge to the Buddha, the teaching and the Sangha, you are considered to be a lay follower. So the day I decide, which is the triple gem, the three refuges. I have made a video on the triple gem, three jewels. You can check that video where I have de 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 uh, described each and every uh, 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 aspect of this refuge. The Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha in much more detail. I will not cover it in that, this video otherwise it will be a long video. So importance of this triple gem. So the day you take Buddha as your teacher, Buddha and his qualities as your teacher, you take the teaching, the dharma, that today I will fall, start following the dharma given by the Buddha and the sangha, the, the spiritual community. You become a lay follower of the Buddha, right? Now, you need not attend any, some ceremony or something, you know, or some, you know, big ritual to do this. No, it has to just be from within your, within you that I take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, the Sangha. That's it. You become the lay follower of the Buddha. Buddha was against all the rituals and the, all the, you know, uh, ceremonies and uh, uh, unnecessary things. Yes, in some traditions, if you see that when they have these formal ceremonies of people joining Buddhism, they have these small simple ceremonies where they, they, they have this process of person taking a refuge in the triple gem. That is good. It's, it's, it's a good that, that feeling comes. But it's not necessary, right? We can just you can just take a refuge in the Buddha. Uh, I have made another video on do you have to be Buddhist to follow Buddha's teachings. So that also you can check where I have discussed more about these things, right? So first is that when you take in the refuge in the triple gem, you become a lay follower of the Buddha. Now second question was by Jivika was, how is an ethical lay follower defined? Ethical lay follower means person who really practices the teachings. See. As a lay follower also, if you come on the path and if you don't follow the teachings, then what's the use? You've come to a teacher, an enlightened teacher who has shown you the path for enlightenment. You have taken the human birth, which is so, so rare. And even in the human form, coming, even in the human form, coming across the teachings of the Buddha is even, even rare. And then you don't follow the, 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 the teachings, then, then it's uh, something which is disappointing. But amongst the lay followers, who is an ethical lay follower? A true follower, I will say. The Buddha says, when a lay follower doesn't kill living creatures, doesn't steal, doesn't commit sexual misconduct, doesn't lie or doesn't use alcoholic drinks that cause negligence, they are considered to be ethical lay follower. So, this is the five precepts. I made a detailed video on five precepts. Uh, you can check that detailed video where I have described each and every uh, precept in much more detail. So, Important thing is that if you follow, it's not about just taking the precepts. So in a ceremony or if you if you are becoming a follower of the Buddha or you are coming in Buddhism, you are 
you take refuge in that semi of three triple uh, gem and five precepts but if you don't follow then you are not an ethical lay follower an ethical lay follower has to follow this in daily life we are only asked five things that is do not kill any living creatures it may be human animal insect second do not steal do not take anything which belongs to someone else without their permission without asking them third do not commit any sexual misconduct so live in a family life live with your wife be faithful and loyal to your partner do not look outside do not you know create extramarital affairs do not create adultery incest abuse of any form no do not lie do not practice false speech which includes not only lying but also slander words that spread hatred false speech idle speech gossip this is a bit difficult right and do not use alcoholic drinks that cause negligence the important thing thing is causing negligence anything i will say i will extend the meaning of this to not only alcohol but even drugs anything that causes negligence right smoking doesn't cause for that matter i'm not saying smoking is good smoking is very harmful but from the example of the precepts anything which is mind altering right where it causes us our you know clarity of the mind to be interrupted we should not consume that so then if we follow that then the person is a ethical lay follow now buddha now there are actually four kinds of uh, followers that buddha has said so buddha says there are four kinds of people found in the world number one people now even in the ethical lay followers there are four people one who practice to benefit themselves but not others they only practice to benefit themselves not others second one who practices to benefit others right they are two kind of selfless they benefit others but they do not benefit themselves third is one to practice to benefit neither themselves nor others their practice is so distorted or something that neither they practice themselves nor others one who fourth is one who practices to benefit both themselves and others right so just to elaborate on this that person uh, the jivika asked how do we define a lay follower who is practicing to benefit themselves not others themselves not others so buddha said a lay follower is a who is accomplished in faith but doesn't encourage others to do the same that means he is accomplished in faith of the teachings of the buddha but he doesn't encourage others he is accomplished in ethical conduct generosity they like to see the mendicants they like to hear the true teaching they memorize the teachings they examine the meaning they understand the meaning of the teaching and they practice accordingly but they do not encourage others to do the same that's how we define a lay follower who is practicing to benefit themselves not others then jivika asked how do we define a lay follower who is practicing to benefit both themselves and others so here buddha again said that who a person who is doing doing all these things that means accomplish in faith ethical conduct generosity hear the teachings and then they encourage others to do the same these are people who follow not only benefit themselves but benefit others and then there are people who benefit others how does a person practice to benefit others but not themselves so buddha said it's when a person kills living creatures steals commit sexual misconduct lies and uses alcoholic drinks that cause negligence but they encourage others to not do these things and this is very common no we do all the good things we we do all the mistakes at our end violations but we tell others not to do we don't have to be like that right and then jivika asked how does a person practice to benefit neither themselves nor others it's basically that kind of a person who kills steals and does everything wrong and even doesn't encourage others to not do these things right if the others are doing then they so what my understanding is my limited understanding from this is that number one we have to take refuge in the buddha dharma sangha the triple gem second is follow the five precepts to the t third is that we should try to benefit at least first we should you know benefit ourselves right it's like if you are in a, a plane and there is some turbulence they say that wear the oxygen mask first first we should be diligent in our own practice follow that and we should also see that if we can encourage others on the path see there are several why why buddha why buddha decided to share the teaching 
remember when when buddha got enlightened the first thought he had came in his mind was that what i need to do i myself have achieved this knowledge after so much of penness and so much of hard work will others be able to do the same will anyone benefit will anyone learn and then the brahma came and he said that there are people who are completely sept there are people who are completely aware and then there are people who have little dust in the eyes who have little dust in the eyes and they are ready for your teaching so your teaching is for those people so what we have to do is that we have to practice ours on our own and also try to encourage others but there is again the limit in the worldly life that we live in there is always this limit that we cannot go beyond otherwise we come across as creatures you know we preach a lot of things and we don't have to be like that but the actually the best thing what we can do and i'm just sharing my reflections here is that in our life if we become calm and be mindful then that is an example for others to do the same that vibe the others will also get and they also at least when their time is right that seed will sprout in them maybe it may be one year two year five year 10 years down the line right so what i am making these videos it's because i'm i was driven that strong inspiration was there that these teachings that have declined they need to spread right because of the various causes i'll make a de detailed video on why the teachings decline but they need to spread so yes if there is a inspiration that you have do try to spread the knowledge there now youtube and all it's so easy to spread the knowledge but first we need to develop in us a kind of a, a level that has to come in us our practice should be very good and then we can encourage slowly slowly others to take the path and it's totally just it's totally unconditional depending upon their life path they will decide whether they want to come in buddha's teaching or not so it's not that buddha's teaching is the end of everything but if they resonate they will come but we have to just be open and why buddha shared the knowledge 82000 discourses over a 45 years because when he got enlightened he he had these eyes of compassion he could see all the souls suffering they were like banging their heads they were banging their heads to the wall they didn't know what to do they wanted to escape suffering but they could not escape suffering so out of that compassion in buddha this thing arose that i need to share the path and then he gave the first sermon in sarnath right so out of our it has to come from within us our compassion should make us you know share the and not the ego that sense that i am you know knowing so much and you know and i need to teach others how to they live their life that's not the right way so i hope this video was useful uh you got some insights from this video do share your reflections your thoughts in the comment section and uh, thank you so much for watching this video thank you namo buddhaye namo buddhaye